Hey family, welcome back to another video. I know it has been two weeks since you guys last heard from me, but of course you guys already know why. And that's why I'm making this video to update you guys on the journey. There has been a few things that have been happening in the background that I haven't came out and spoke with you guys, you know, and update you guys as yet, but I'm going to be doing that right now. So stay tuned and, you know, catch the updates. All right. So, um, where shall we begin? So in two weeks, tracking back to two weeks, I believe the last video I posted was um, when I was, I believe, uh, when I was talking about the cultural day, I was talking about the case competitions and I've been chosen for the team. You know, I was talking about tax filing, you know, and I was talking about maybe midterms coming up, all right? So I have done midterms, well, not all our midterms, just two midterms so far, which I'm gonna discuss. I've already received the results as well, so stay tuned for that. Um, more about the business case competition. There have been major improvements. I've also done some practices, which I'm gonna show you guys a video of that practice too, and my personal speech. And, um, yeah, I'm going to give you guys details as it relates to, I already talked about the results. Yeah, hidden talents, hidden talents. So, you know, I have some hidden talents, right, which you guys never, never heard of. And I'm going to show you guys, you know, those, that talent in a video format too. All right, so that's going to be, all that will be in this video. So you want to stay tuned and you want to see everything that's in this video. You want to catch all the updates, all right? So I won't have you guys here, you know, with me blabbering too much, but I want to also mention that this weekend will be a very special weekend, right? Um, I'm also on a break from school for approximately one week, but within that break, as I said, I'm not finished with midterms. So within this break, I would have to study a lot because midterms are going to be hitting me right after I come from the break. So as soon as this break is up, midterms 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 i have three more midterms to do all right so uh yeah i want a short break and this weekend will be a great weekend so stay tuned because of course as i said when it, you know when urine says it's gonna be a great weekend it's gonna be a great weekend all right believe anyhow um with that said let's get into all the updates now all right it's been what approximately three minutes so let's get into it now so first um let's start with midterms um, I've done two midterms, right? I have done my finance midterm. I've also done my accounting information systems midterm. Just to give you guys a brief overview of what these courses entails. So finance, you know, projections, you know, uh, forecasting, you know, um, figuring out, okay, you know, the risk versus the profitability. You know, figuring out things like cash projections, you know, cash budgeting, you know, things like that. All has to do with the numbers, the logical reasoning. It's very similar to accounting, but it's more on the projection sides and, you know, looking into the future. Right. So um, that course, uh, it's good, but I don't think I'll the best of lecture, you know, in terms of, hey, you know, one thing you learn in class and then on the exam, you see a total different thing. And it's so um, weird because w when we do our midterm review, you basically say, okay, guys, focus on this. You know, this is what's coming. You know, uh, we're not gonna look on this chapter. Don't worry about this. You know, focus on that. You know, you give us specific outlines to follow. We follow those outlines, then we go into the exam and then it's a completely different thing. Now, um, I spoke with students from other classes that he also teaches. And then when I spoke with them, they were like, their exam was completely different because no same class gets the same exam, right? It's like each class gets different exams. Same course, but different exams. You get me? So like, you know, my friend from the other class, if they did it the day before me, they can come back and tell me what was on the exam. You get me? So to make it fair. And they were like, hey, their exam was easy. You know, but my entire class was complaining. Anyhow, I went in, you know, uh, I did pretty well, actually. You know, actually exceeded my expectations. I got a 75.47 and the class average was 
So from 75.47 from my grade to class average of 62.38, that's like what, 13% uh, match difference? I mean, that's actually pretty good when compared to the class average. Now, personally, what I would want from myself, you know, I aim to get like 80 and above, but I can work with a 75, you know, in the exam like that. I can say, okay, it was fairly difficult and I can, I can, I can, work with it and you know moving forward hopefully things change and you know he actually be truthful with what's coming in the exam you know give us a proper better review then things shall change but coming over now to the other course ais i think this course made me feel much better going into the break because <laughs> oh that exam was that exam was crazy um so AIS, let me give you guys a, a brief overview of you, Joel. So AIS is like an infotech course. It's like a technology course. So it's like a course where it teaches about teaches you about things like um, the sales process, merchandising process, purchases process. You know, it, it teaches you about things like BPMN model. BP, BPMN model is like this model that, you know, it's like a map. You can think of it like a map. You know, it's used to you know track the resources of what's coming into the business and also the business. And it's like it summarizes the essential parts of this process into like a small map. So you know we had to you know draw up a BPM model. We also had to draw up different models so like UML model, you know, and we also have to know the interrelation between these models. So it was kind of like a more like a tech course with theory on the side as well, because there's like a few key terms they need to understand, know how to apply to like, you know, real life scenarios. And yeah, that exam was, I think I enjoy doing things like that. You know, I enjoy, you know, I'm interested in like doing the BPIN models, the UMN models, I'm like, you know, and that's like my interest. And I went to the exam, I did, you know, study, did prepare, did my multiple choices, you know, and, uh, you know, I was very prepared for the exam. So I wasn't surprised by my grade to see that I got 38 out of 40, which is a 95%. I wasn't surprised, right? I was just like, uh -huh. it was expected, you know? I mean, anything less would have been like, okay, where did I went wrong? But it was honestly expected. And yeah, big up to Brian. Brian is actually a very good lecturer. He teaches me two courses, he teaches me AIS and also intermediate and that guy's like hey he teaches you things outside of the course like how to be a millionaire <laughs> brian you're a boss if you're watching this video brian teaches you how to invest you know how to uh, um track investments you know teaches you how to get started with investments and right now i've created my investment account big up to my legacy so you have good relations with your lecturers I'm telling you it's like a good thing so i created my investment account about a week ago I made like five dollars, five dollars from the money I invested. So I mean, hey, it's, I mean, it's, I'm five dollars richer, right? I got five dollars more than I never had before, you know. So hey, big up to yourself, Mr. Brian. So yeah, that's that for uh, midterms. Now, when it comes on to my business case competition, now guess what, guys? Yes, all paid expenses. Norcross College has covered my hotel fee. You understand so you know your boy is gonna be at a hotel for like what two nights three days i'm gonna be you know um staying in calgary and we're gonna have the competition in calgary as well so let me tell you the, the schedule for how everything is gonna go no i get the schedule i'm gonna explain the schedule to you guys so we're gonna go early friday morning i have a class friday afternoon i will miss that class but um the person who is you know uh, in charge of the business case competition, they are the board of the business of my um, area of study. They are like the board, the chairperson. So just gonna let my lecturer know that hey, you know, I won't be able to make it on this Friday. And guess what? On that Friday, that is Brian. Brian, big up yourself again. Brian is like so cool. You get me? So Brian is gonna understand like hey, you know, I can't make it this day. So Brian is pretty cool. So that's all the way. So back to what I was saying. Friday morning, we leave in Edmonton, bright and early. And then we go in Calgary, get ourselves settled, you know, get into our rooms. We have different rooms. That's something I want to note. There is five of us going and each five teammates have different rooms. And our, and our mentors, rather, 
they also have different rooms. So I have a room with myself and guess what? It's a big king side bed, bed between the guys. You know, see, you know, see that. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys photos of the hotel, right? I'm gonna see if I can do that. You know, try to make this video as spicy as possible. So yeah, um, we'll leave Friday morning, as I said, reaching Calgary, settle, and then Friday night we're gonna have a dinner. We're gonna have a dinner Friday night with everyone like now, now i'm not just talking about my team right no 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 don't get it wrong it's gonna be a dinner with all the schools everyone who will be you know playing a part in the competition right and yeah they're gonna have an opening dinner it's like an opening ceremony but in this form it's gonna be a dinner you understand so that's gonna be interesting as well to see everyone i know we have to look elegant we have to look like a Business man, because we went on a business trip to compete and get the trophy. You understand, yeah, man. We're going to an accounting trip and we have to do business class, which means that I'm gonna need a business suit. We'll soon get into that. All right. Now we we'll do the, the, the um dinner Friday night and then the Saturday now, the morning of the competition, the nerve rocking competition. Only one school will be victorious, and that will be Norquest College. Anyways, guys. Anyways, let's get let's, let's get back on track. So yeah, you know, we we'll go we we'll go um we go Saturday morning. Four hour we have four hours to analyze and prepare a case study and also put a presentation together. Four hours only, and a case study you have to read and analyze. And you have to make numbers. You have to do quantitative, qualitative analysis. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna show you guys my presentation video in, your, in our practice videos. I'm gonna show you guys an example. But, anyways, back to what I was saying now. We do that for our practice, and then we're gonna have, uh, I think it's another couple hours to like, you know, I think it's uh, four hours after we finish the case and, pre and send it to the judges. So, when you finish the case in the four hours, when you do the analysis, and we finish up everything and do our presentation. Not not present, you know. We just do the PowerPoint. Not present. We haven't presented as yet. The, the the presentation within among my team will not be in that four hours. It's just to prepare the PowerPoint and send it off to the judges. Once we send it off to the judges, that is the final thing. That's what we are going to see when we are presenting. So when we send it off in the four hours, my team and I we will leave. And we will take maybe four hours that I believe they're going to give us again to like practice among our team and then to present. Right? Now we'll present. And then later in the night, announce winners. Then Saturday, Sunday morning, we'll leave in back to, you know, come back to Edmonton with the trophy. Place it in the cabinet of Northwest College with your name on it. I you know what's very special about this competition and, my, and me being a part of this competition. Let me tell you what's very special. This is, listen very carefully. This is the first time students have ever went to Bow Valley College to represent Northwest College in an accounting, listen carefully, in an accounting case competition. Never in history of Northwest College has they have a team going to Bow Valley to represent them in an accounting case competition. And not just Bow Valley, any at all. They have never had an accounting team to represent them. And look at that. Came here, made an impact, saw it, took the opportunity, and now we're going to represent. It's great news. Anyways, you know, so we'll come back, but I still have a I still have something I'm thinking about because the main issue is that this is gonna I'm, I'm gonna need to look business professional wise. I'm gonna need to look like a businessman, I'm gonna need to have a professional outfit, but the thing is that I do not have any professional outfits right i know you guys in my earlier presentation saw me with a blazer best believe me it's not my blazer i had to borrow that from another uh, from another team you know we, we it was an in-house competition among the students so yeah hey and i was like hey brother could i buy your, borrow your blazer for a minute you know he, and i put it on and also i do have this pants right here this is my only pants that i have to like you know dress professional I mean, it's not it's not a problem to have just one pants, you know, because I don't really do professional things like every day. So, I mean, it's not a problem. But the issue is this. All right, I'm going to show you guys. 
The issue is this now, guys. If you look, the button, the button is spoiled. That's the first thing. The first thing is that the oh, let me come closer. So the button is spoiled. So if I like, you know, you see, the button is pretty spoiled. You guys see, the button is out for, and then it cannot fit on me anymore. So like. Even in the case competition when I was wearing this, I had a tuck in my belly, like I literally had a tuck in my belly in order to get this, the button, this right here, to close. I had to sink in my belly so much, guys. And then when I pushed it back, you know, when, it, when it actually go on, I was suffering the entire time. So, you know, I'm definitely gonna need to have proper, proper garments, you know, clothing to go into the competition. I'm gonna probably need like a blazer, um, uh, pants, uh, of course I'm gonna need a pants because this, 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 I would never make it out with, with, with that. So I'm gonna need a pants, a blazer, right? And uh, I think I can wear the shoes that Abdul bought for me. I don't, I'm not sure if you guys remember that shoes with Abdul, my best friend, he did buy the shoes and I went to see him in Calgary. And these are pretty good shoes. Oh, actually, it's, it's actually right here because I was wearing it. I just remember it's right here because I, I was wearing it to, um, yeah, here it is. See? I think I could wear this in the competition. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Could this be worn at the competition? Let me know what you guys think. All right? So, um, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about that. You know, wearing that. And then I just need a blazer, a pants. I have my white shirt already. I have a white shirt. So I'm going to more than I can wear a white shirt. I'm going to buy myself a black tie. I need a black tie. Yeah, I'm gonna get my black tie too, and then yeah, I should be I should be bush for the for, for the meeting. I want to look good, you know. When you, you see when you look very professional while going into into the, these competitions, it's like the judges, it's like no, the judges fear you, you know. Like I want to make the judges feel like yes, these people are serious. This boy is a serious boy. You understand what I'm saying, guys? When, when the name start talk now, them say them that's a then 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 have a look, then let's have a sit back and fold them and so and just look and say yes. This is the winning team. Yes, that's the winning team. You understand? So, I mean, hey, let's go, let's go, let's get it. So that's that for business case competition. I'm gonna also upload a video maybe today, tomorrow, as it pertains to, you know, practice when we are practicing, you know, etc. I'm gonna see if I can give you guys an insight on that. Bear in mind, it's just a practice. It's not serious, you know, it's a stimulation, not a real life case. So, um, but we are, we are, we are not at our best as yet to be very honest, which is good to recognize that we're not close to competing as yet, but we will be there. I can assure you, everyone that we will be there, right? We have numerous study sessions coming up. We are now extending our study time on Monday afternoons, as well as Friday mornings, you know, uh, four hours each. So, I mean, that's like eight hours devoted to practicing case studies every week. So that's pretty good. You know, and um, we also are trying to be more cohesive as a team to not like, you know, understand everyone, you know, so we are maybe going to just, you know, go to get some coffee, go by the mall together, you know, and build that connection with us for the next few weeks until the competition, which is going to be held March 22, right? So definitely mark your calendar, guys. Mark your calendar. That's a very important time around March 22. So, um, yeah, so that's that. All right, okay, no. So we talk about business skills, talk about midterms. Let's talk about my hidden talent.
that's right guys so yeah i do have a hidden talent which i used i never thought i would have used again because since primary school i haven't really used it much you know but i did use it in Norquist college so i played the drum because they had the cultural day and if you guys see a boy on the stage and i rap and i and i, and I beat the drum you know kind of represent the island you know i uh, had on my, my never give up shirt big up to auntie for that and I also had on my Jamaican flag over my back too. I'm gonna to play the video for you guys right now, so you guys can just you know see what I'm trying to say right there. So um, yeah, it was pretty great to represent, you know, one more time to represent wave the flag. You know, see what I say? Good. Way. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's what I'm saying, guys. You know, just be there and you know just show that hey, Jamaican has Jamaicans as talent too. You know, because it was like a cultural talent show. So yeah. You know that was pretty good a great experience and yeah it was good representing for jamaica i'm gonna show, i hope you guys like the, the the video too oh i was actually gonna show the video and then okay let's just show the video now mm -hmm. yeah i hope you guys like the video but um what else so we discussed about the, the talent we discussed about the business case we talk about the um the uh midterm exams Right, I think I have one more thing to speak on, like just one more. Like, let's see if we can remember that. What happened about two weeks here, right? The tax clinic. So the tax clinic is still there. Uh, next week, Saturday, I'll be uh, on the eight-hour practice for that too. That's gonna be eight hours of practice. Can you imagine? I think it's from like eight to two. Is that eight hours? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. No, that's like six hours actually. I believe it's from eight to two. So if it's like six hours of practice on the, over the weekend. I believe so um you know that's coming up but it's a great experience as i said you know good to you know know how to file taxes can do it as a personal side hustle you know in in the tax filing season of course it's not all year round you guys know that so um it's great to just can you know have the knowledge and how to do it how to do with like difficult ones too because you know some tax Taxes are easier to file than some, so I would I would take pride in filing like difficult taxes because hey, if you tax if, if the more difficult the more money right, so yeah, and the more difficult to the more experience and you know you can file taxes for like big corporations and they pay you big money because I mean big corporations they have so many things to, to cover right, so yeah, more things to cover the more money. Okay, so that's about tax tax filing. And yeah, so you guys might wonder, how am I doing though? I know you guys might wonder that, you know, like outside of doing all these things, how am I keeping up? Guys, this semester has felt a little easier than all other semesters, despite having numerous things to do. I'm going to tell you guys why. Now, I'm I, I personally don't know why it feels much easier, right? Um, I study just like I would normally study, but I think what I'm doing now is that instead of staying inside, you know, instead of just, you know, going to school to like do school work, I'm now actively a part of different communities, which is what I've always dreamt of, which is what I have told you guys before the start of this journey that, hey, I want to be able to be a part of different groups, you know, different networks, you know, build myself. And I think that have led to me feeling much more relaxed in school. You know, I've been able to be a part of this case competition. My teammates are amazing, you know, and we, we bond together, we laugh together, you know, it feels like a family, you know, and it makes life much easier to go through school with, you know, having people. And especially with even being an ambassador as well, you know, you get to go to different events, you get to meet new people, you get to showcase yourself, you get to, you know, showcase the qualities of your school. You know, you just get to be around and not just school home, school home. No, school home is boring. That's what gets you mentally down and you just feel depressed and sad. But now, I feel much more better. And a big part in this too is that I've started a gym. If you guys look, I have a very big arm now, right? And if I should like, you know, muscle up, you understand? Yeah, and I'm not even muscling. I'm not even muscling up right now, and I have a very big arm. I have very big arms, actually. You know, and I have a very big chest too. So I feel, you know, you know, 
going to the gym, you know, that has been played a very great role in keeping my mental health stable in keeping me from like, you know, distracting me from doing certain things. Like, you know, I've just been here just sitting down in my apartment wondering what to do. But, you know, that keeps me distracted. I get to work out, get to, you know, pump those muscles, get the blood flowing freely, you know, get to do some cardio from time to time, you know, things like that. And, you know, I, I think I'm more stable. Let me just say that I'm more stable in the, in Canada right now than I was before. For classes, just same thing. I try to study every day. I try to ensure that I'm on top of things, you know, and even when I'm not on top of things, you know, I try to like book meetings with lecturers and you know try to get things done before it just starts to get getting piled up you know so um yeah just taking it a year at a time and uh, you know just prioritizing mental health doing the necessary things needed to ensure that you know my mental health is stable and is on the right path to success because without health without your mental health health is a wealth as they would say right if i'm not healthy i will never be able to do what i'm able to do right now also, I'm not going to lie, YouTube YouTube is a great way to communicate with you guys, right? It's very good to share my experience, you know, my journey. But sometimes it can get overwhelming, you know, sometimes, you know, you see some comments, very hurtful. But, you know, you're a human, you try, you're going to say, okay, I'm not even watching them. But, you know, you have feelings, we're all humans, you feel things, you know, and... You know, taking some break from YouTube has been very helpful as well, you know, because, hey, I get time to like just, you know, not having to read any negative comments or, you know, sometimes you just want to relax, you know, and just not having to just be on your phone. So that has been, you know, a good time away. But trust me, I won't stay away for two weeks again. I don't think so, actually. I'm probably going to do like every every week i'll have a video out two three videos so like even today you guys might get four videos today i'm gonna give you guys this video i'm gonna give you guys my presentation video i have a cooking video i want to give you guys as well i have a next video i want to give you guys as well so stay tuned all right stay tuned guys i think this is where i'm gonna end this one so thank you so much for watching guys love and appreciate you all and thank you so much for your continued support for your congratulations and your kind words and um, see you guys in Calgary. <laughs> All right, your rain is out. <laughs>